Graduation at East Liverpool is filled with tradition, but this year students and parents were told one major tradition would be removed from the program, the singing of the Lord's Prayer. I know that a lot of my student body though was uncomfortable with it just because it is tradition at our school. The prayer has been sung at the graduation ceremony for over 70 years. It was removed this year after the school received a notice from the Wisconsin based group, the Freedom Foundation for Separation of Church and State. Um, looking at the idea of one person uh, or two, two or even three people uh, taking and standing up and saying that they really don't want uh, prayer back in, or the Lord's Prayer back in the school or even singing it or reciting it, I think is sad. Rodney Oler is a pastor at the Salineville Assembly of God. He and members of the church stood outside to lend a hand in prayer and support keeping the prayer in the school. All of the parents I spoke to said they were disappointed with the decision. Students and administrators say they don't want to see the issue overshine the students' accomplishments. I think that my class is very gifted. I think that my class is super talented and that that should be the focus. School board president Larry Walton says, frankly, they got caught. The decision not to fight to keep singing the Lord's Prayer was all a matter of economics. He said, okay, we'll just not do it anymore. Uh, it was uh, a decision made because the fight would have been normal. We don't have a lot of money and uh, quite frankly, we'd rather hire teachers and pay lawyers. But these graduates weren't backing down quite as easily. Before the commencement, we spoke to Vice President Cami Post. We're really big at traditions at the school, and I think it would have been nice to have the same like as my brother had whenever he graduated. But we suspect during our interview, she was hiding a secret under her cap. A valedictorian Jonathan Montgomery took the stage and watch what happens next. <laughs> The students showed they're not letting their tradition go. Then came the applause. A standing ovation for these graduates standing up for their school. School board president Larry Walton tells me he is looking into having some sort of non-denominational service as an option before graduation next year. In the newsroom, Kendall Forward, News 9.